top of the morning to y'all. Right there is my class 11 build. It's been sitting in this exact spot for over two years, and I think it's time to bring her to life. As you can see, she's been tucked away in the corner, but she looks good. Full stock, 1969 Volkswagen Bug. Uh, it's gonna take a lot of work to get this thing uh, race ready for the Mint 400. Um, it is January 13th and I have a ton of stuff to do alongside of this new project. So today, I'm gonna yank this girl out of here, get her to the shop, and uh, we're gonna start tearing into her and we're going racing. Mark my word. As I said earlier, the Slug Shark leaves the compound today. We are taking this thing to the shop and we are going to strip it today. Uh, again, it is January 13th or some shit. Yeah, something like that. I changed my outfit because Bam Bam and I were uh, we were doing some audio for the, the Amazon TV show and all that good stuff. But Troy is here with me. Yeah, what's up, guys? He is going to be the the co-dog. Yeah. The electrician, the my second, my right hand for the mint and this uh, <laughs> slug shark endeavor. It's so. gonna be it's gonna be a wild ride, but it's gonna be fun. Yeah. Well, I'm time excited. to get to work and get yeah. dirty. A lot has happened in a short amount of time today. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so much is going down. Uh, what do you think, dude? We got Spencer over here begging on everything. We got... <laughs> what do you think? We are making a giant mess. Come on, Spay! What are you doing, dude? Stop that! Fucking steal it or steal it or Beam's coming off. Everything must go. Um, obviously, a class. This is gonna be a full-blown castle. That that doesn't look safe. It looks a little wiggly there. Uh, brake pads, dude. We got good brake pads still, baby. <laughs> Darby's in the house. Brandon's in the house. Spenerito's in the house. Cowboys in the house and we are literally you guys saw this thing You guys saw this thing earlier on the trailer in the front yard and this is a day's progress after after getting other bug to create him to wrap it to do wrap and all that good stuff so it's legitimately going down mid 400 bus as we said before i'm gonna get back to it i'm gonna get back to pulling this motor and transmission out these boys are pulling trailing arms spinners dialing in the inside he's just banging on shit bang on shit i think it's like my car's like right for women <laughs> but, let's get back to it we got, we got, we got, we got class 11 car to build yay 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 Oh, it's, it's going, dude. We've, oh, look, you got through this. I'm about to die. <laughs> we've, uh, we've made a giant mess. We've made some serious strides. We got the motor out, the transmission's coming out next. Uh, rear trailing arms, torsion, torsion tubes getting cut up for the Kong adjusters. And basically, our list just keeps growing. <laughs> it doesn't seem like it's going down at all. It just seems like it's keep, going to keep growing. So. We're gonna keep chipping away. Let's get it. Right on. Suspension on these bugs are limited. Uh, today is day two. Come on, puppy dog, get back, get back. And uh, 
gotta keep it core, keep it OG. There's my front beam. What's up, Blue? What's up, Blue? We're here at Richard's Garage, and uh, yeah, check this out. We're getting down. What's up, Jojo? My man right here, just cut and turn the beam. He, we showed up and uh, put us to work, but um, we're letting him control the situation right now. Richard is tried and true, like class 11, class 12, class nine, five sixteen hundred they've done 10 they've done it all but they keep going back to class 11. you got class 11 too don't you yeah what do you think of that class beautiful man nothing like it most fun i've ever had with my clothes on yeah. <laughs> so uh he found uh, a sick actual needle bearing front end that um he's like you know screw the bushings we're gonna run the bearing front end on your on your front end and i was like all right all right that's cool so what uh what he's doing is he just welds up the seam something that's a common common thing uh we're gonna put bumps bump stops in it and uh some some limiting parts on it so we don't blow through he's got sh he's got fucking shock shock templates on this thing as well for uh basically making sure that we don't blow this thing apart first go because it happens it can easily happen and uh, I'm, I'm learning from masters at this and the fact that they brought me down here to let me help them out with this and doesn't really let me do much but uh, we're doing it and we're getting it done. Stay tuned. I'll show you the beam after this uh, complete when we're rolling out of here but I gotta get back to it. Day three, class 11 build beam all that stuff's done just got the Dave McDowell's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh man <laughs> uh oh Dave so whenever I break stuff in the Megalodon he's the one fixing it so now with the the slug shark we're calling this one this is his old transmission in, in the buggy uh, yeah. Somehow we gotta make this one as strong and clean like that so he can go drive that. That's gonna be quite the chore. Without without doing any crazy internal modifications. So. Oh, hundred thousand dollars we got it covered. This guy's got jokes this morning. <laughs> I have coffee, I'm zigging. You got coffee, I got jokes. We're good. <laughs> but it's gonna make it live for you. This type one is gonna go under the knife, get refreshed top to bottom make sure she's tight make sure she's right make sure that she hopefully finishes the mid 400 i know dave and uh our past track record i'm good at breaking stuff but he's also good at making stuff live uh i i hope i don't find the limits on this one well that's after we get 200,000 miles of grime off of it so we can see what we're working on so that would be the first project and then we can see what we got to work with inside and go make it live for the new project he's doing well, we're going to get to it. This is uh, day three. We'll keep going on this build and uh, documenting the whole process. But this is uh, this is my transmission, guys. This is my go-to. This is anything. Yeah, let's check it out. We'll give you guys a little quick little walkthrough. <laughs> Getting down. I like it. <clears throat> Simple, effective, and uh, organized. How long have you been in business, Dave? 30 years plus. Longer than I've been alive. Knows the shit. Trust them with this thing, otherwise, uh, too big I a number. Be here. I'm gonna have to go back to 20 years then. <laughs> uh, 20 years. Yep. He don't look it. He's good. He's good. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna get to get to work and clean this thing up and let him do his thing, and uh, I'm gonna get back to the shop and pull the body off of the uh, off the pan and start start getting some uh, some cage ideas and layout and material and go through the waves so uh another step of the process we'll get you fixed up yep yep day three transmissions at dave's as you guys just saw and now me and jojo separated the body and the pan jojo is cleaning the pedal assembly all that stuff's nice and tight right baby full throttle. full throttle yeah we had some some bent parts and some stuff going on there so we'll fix that get that all dialed in Maybe add a little material here, adjust the pedal, however need be. Um, pans, dirty as all could be. Um, 
not too bad a rest, honestly. I'm, I'm pretty stoked on it. Um, after this, we're gonna go to IMS and get all of our DOM tubing where we can, and put the beam on to where we can run our floorboards and then uh, work our way up from there. Um, with the pan off, it makes it super easy. I gotta get the Sway Away King Kong adjuster and make a huge parts list from Empy. Um, their products, their, their catalog has everything in that, that we need. So that's exciting. Um, yeah. Lots to do. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah. One other thing I did. Um, I put a brass. You can't really see it, but I put a brass shift um, bushing in there. The stock one is a nylon pile. So B Parts, my local parts store here in El Cajon, has those little brass bushings. I cut a hole open here to access it so I didn't have to drill all the rivets out or all the spot welds and then put a new mount in there. This was still tight enough to where when I put that, that brass piece in there, it was, uh, it was dialed. Um, shifting, gotta, gotta have it. Gotta be banging gear, gotta find them. And uh, he got, said three fingers only, no banging gears. Three fingers, <laughs> no banging, just legitly get it in. But this is uh, this is it. This is this is raw. This is this is us. Slug, bug, shark. <laughs> slug, bug, slug, shark, dog. What's up? Let's go. Yo, yo, yo. Little update on day three still. So you got your stock arms here, and then this is basically your plated box-in arm. Uh, it comes with three different plates. Let me show you those guys right here. This kit, boom, you can see center, the top, 3 16 eighth inch on the bottom. Uh, put, the, put the meat where the shock mount's gonna go. Uh, you have to cut off all of your stock, cut off and grind all of your stock shock mounts and your butt pad. Done. I'm gonna handle those and finish those up. JoJo's outside. He pressure washed the pan. Uh, and now he's coating it with steel it. Uh, steel it's pretty awesome. If you're not familiar with steel it, uh, you can weld on top of it. Uh, it's a yeah. It's a, it, they ha it comes in a spray paint canister or a, or in a small canister for you to actually spray it on with. A gun however this pan that we just separated from the shell today is looking good we got our plastic down sprayed a little bit of water on it jojo what we got bro we got we got steal it yeah building a race car give it a shot don't cheat yourself <laughs> probably one of the best spray paints i've ever used it, it's pretty badass huh so easy is this your first time using it yeah it lays on pretty Glide thick, right and, on, brother. dude. Right on. Look at this pan. She's looking good, dude. Dang, this thing came a long way, Joe. Damn. Dry smooth, no runs. And you can spray it on heavy too. So, huh, making moves, baby, making moves. I like it. I like it. Look at this. Yeah, there's a little patch job there. We didn't do that, but you know what? It's it'll hold. So. I'm gonna finish up these rear arms. We're gonna get the pan back in there once it's all dried. Uh, set the beam on there and get ready to lay some floor tubes on, on the uh, on the pan from the beam all the way back up into the uh, up into the torsion tube. So we got a work cut out for us today. Um, maybe I'll show you an update on the arms later, or just roll into that tomorrow so I can I can keep keep getting after it. All right, guys, I took the camera for a little bit just to show you what we got going on. We got uh, some spring plate kits that we're trying to get painted up, the stock stuff. We got the uh, pan back in the shop. We got it all steel coated. We got the front beam all dialed in, the race ready beam that we got from 11 Brothers. Uh, Wilkie's got the trailing arms up top with the plate kit that they gave us. He's over here right now trying to get the uh, bump kits, the plates buttoned up. Don't look at the bright light, but uh, we're getting there, boys. We're getting there. The Don't look at the bright light. She's looking good, bro. She's looking real good. We're making some moves tonight. Day three. Day three. What do you think, Kevin? I got the worst light. Yeah. 
Day four, class 11. Day four, baby. 11.57, slug shark. IMS materials. We are here to pick up all the tubing, as well as some aluminum skid plates, abrasives, some tabs, uh, whatever else we might need. This place has it all. Angle steel. You never been here, Jojo? No. Your wow. first word was damn. <laughs> I love it, dude. That's what's up. Uh, super pumped to uh, pick up these goods and get started on the cage. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna pick up our order that we that we placed and. Uh, yeah, we're just using um, we're just using DOM, an uh, inch and a half DOM tube um, for the mains, uh, one inch for the seats, uh, three sixteenths, uh, fifty fifty two aluminum for the skid plates, and um, yeah, picking up some other sheet for uh, a couple other things to cut on that right CNC plasma table. So I'm gonna get with these guys and we're gonna we're gonna get it we're gonna get it rolling. All right, so we called this stuff in late yesterday. Um, just got here fresh and early in the morning. Uh, there's my material list. Inch and a half DOM, inch and a half DOM, one inch, three quarter, some aluminum three sixteenths, and some flat plate three sixteenths. Um, I also got all my tabs. Check these out. Skid plate tabs, uh, seat tabs that I'll have to drill out, seat belt tabs for on the sides, transmission uh, tabs, some gussets to make it legal and some tie down hooks. All those can be found in their tab zone as well as Heims and uh, tube couplers and all that good stuff. Threaded uh, threaded bushings and Heim joint spacers and a bunch of other stuff. You guys got, you guys stepped it up. You guys, you guys have had this stuff for a while, but well, we can. it's pretty rad. Um, here's all their different materials again. Jojo, you ready to go get this material? Let's go, bro, let's go. Thank you so much, Thank dude. You guys. We appreciate you. They got, they got so much good shit. Let's go show you guys what's back here, where all the goods are at, where all the full lengths are at. They got rounds, they got rims, they got shorties, they got long dogs, they got more tabs over there, they got fencing posts, they got quarter gussets for days, pre-rem, remnant cunts, trailer hitch material. Oh, dude, I should have fucking got some of that shit. These are all their rims and stuff. Uh, Will calls around the corner. I'm just gonna go for it, Jojo. Come on. Screw it. No employees around this way. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're pigeonholed. Oh. We're pigeonholed. <laughs> uh, we'll go back around. Right, we don't want to be that big of degenerates. <laughs> but. He gave us the shotgun. He gave us the shotgun, dude. Oh, uh, which one? That old man? Yeah, he said it's all good. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, that guy said no. <laughs> That's it. Uh, you got one thumbs up, one thumbs down, yeah. dog. Yeah, Joe. This place uh, is amazing. It's pretty sick. Uh, industrial Metal Supply, they're all over SoCal and also in Arizona. Actually, California and Arizona. Yeah. But each one of their warehouses is completely outfitted with whatever you need. All the iron gates. They got the barn door hardware over here. They got... <laughs> Uh, they got tool metal in the back if you want to make a knife. They got everything. Jojo's just, he's, he's been lost. I've been ordering this stuff and getting everything ready. And he's like been lost for the last last 20 minutes just wandering around. But we're going to load up this material and get back to the shop. Uh, shout out to IMS for always having what I need and uh, making it happen. Back at the shop. What's up, Jojo? Yo! Uh, we got the material from IMS, everything's loaded up on the rack over here. Um, I got my tube bender laid out, set up. I just measured my first floorboard um, tubes where we're going to be starting off of the torsion and wrapping down around the body, coming up where I cut here and then coming out to the outside of the beam, the furthest outside point. If you're going to go inside here, your bend point is then going to be in between there and your clamp. So. Try to go as far as you can on the outside. You do have a Zerk fitting. You will not be able to use a tow bar. Can't use a tow bar. But I don't see why you can't if you just modify it. Stock ones won't work. You can modify your tow bar, put a tow bar in there, but bring those lower points to the outside of the beam. Uh, definitely a definitely a plus to do. 
Um, we already, Jojo already cut me some pre-made lengths. We're gonna start taking some measurements and getting this, uh, this floor tube in. Uh, in the process, I also brought my a door inside um, while Jojo was doing that and drilling some stuff. And I had my window net made for, that I'm gonna send to PRP. PRP, they make custom window nets. You send them a cardboard template, let them know what you're working with, what they have a few different styles of meshes. Super sick, super legit. And let's get these floor tubes in, dog. Class 11, baby. Oh, man, 400 bus day four, bitches. <laughs> Still day four. It's uh, eight o'clock. Uh, I stepped away from the bug a while ago to get a bunch of other stuff handled. Uh, this, the new raft's done on the bug, went and picked that up. Uh, Tucky's over here handling the razor. Uh, check out the, bu the, the bug progress though. I got my lower lower rails in. Uh, so it's it's sleeved here, rosetted, um, just for a perfect tight, nice fitment there. Um, up on the torsion, comes and runs down, boom, notch that, bow to my front clamps. This way if I bend the beam or anything happens to the beam, uh, I can put a new one on, simple as that. Uh, the top tubes are gonna come down and land on the outside. Again, I went to the outside and then we drilled holes here uh, in order to clear the zerk fitting, or the, the grease fittings. And uh, with that uh, being said that way, and then my, now my front bumper will come off of here up behind the, the stock front bumper and a skid plate will come down uh, underneath this ever so slightly to protect protect hopefully the belly of this thing when I bash rocks at the Mint 400. <laughs> Cause it's inevitable we're gonna bash rocks at this thing. <laughs> oh God, this thing's gonna be scraping. Um, so that's pretty much the progress on, it came out really good, dude. on that. Nice. You like it? Yeah. You like my tubes? Yeah. Touch them, just, t oh. <laughs> Darby's in the house. Uh, Industrial Metal Supply hooked it up with a sick little sign right here above our right CNC table. Um, yeah, that's where that's where I go to grab grab material. What get material for this build? Ooh, razor wrap. What's up, Timmy? I like to call this controlled chaos or somewhat organized chaos. Exactly. Yeah, getting the wrap on the razor. Jojo's got some flame. Damn! Oh man. Uh, today, my boy Matt over at Evans Tire mounted the. 409 uh, method bead grip wheels on GMZ paddles. I'm gonna run 30s on this. These are 33s on the car right now. Uh, getting a little off track and off topic with, from the uh, from the bug, but um, this is this is a little look inside of it. Tomorrow I'll be in Glamis, so this is just gonna be week one's edit of the Slug Shark and just give you guys an insight on what it takes for me to like maintain and the waves of everything but here is megalodon the main main girl new wrap on her looking sick and pretty it's even louder in the daylight but <coughs> check this girl out so we got uh, on the hood there is speckle paint uh pink and teal spatter with some zebra stripes you can't really see it probably too well right now at night and then we got we got kind of like a sunset appearance here that fades up to the top little shakas ghosted in the back uh goes from pink to purple uh some of my favorite colors when it's a sunset dope sunset out some twinkle stars black hat did a killer job on this wrap and uh coastal creative handled the uh the wrap on this knocked it out of the park um proline printed this because proline has all the templates for the the razor stuff and they're good at what they do there um all this came together super quick as did the, the slug shark and uh now i'm getting ready to if you can see in the distance the trailer getting ready to throw the car in the trailer head to glamis g-town we got jinko playing out there um at boardsmanville with the mcgregor ufc fights as well as uh, dune and destroy beanbag toss and uh yeah man just a bunch of people are coming together and making making things happen i'm gonna get back to work i'm gonna load this car we're going to glamis that's week one or that's day four 
Four. Not even we, today. We only had half a day, half. so it's like three and a half. Three, three and a half. We had a, we had a full normal work day. If you if you only five. work eight hours, but we ain't no eight hour gang around here. Nah, no. So sixteen or bust. Sixteen or bust. Mint four hundred bust. Slug shark week one, or no day three and a half. That's <laughs> a wrap. Next week it ain't gonna we ain't gonna start at week two. We're gonna start at day three and a half next week. So we'll keep the progress rolling. Hopefully you guys enjoy this and you guys tune in to uh, the next uh, the next three or four day episode that we'll throw on our YouTube. If you want to comment, like, subscribe, shreddylife.com, check our apparel site out. We got sick hats, socks, beanies, all that good stuff, underwear, you name it. Kids, women's children, stickers. Uh, yeah, we try to pass the knowledge along and include everyone in on our adventures and do stuff like this to, to show people what kind of hard work goes into this because it doesn't happen without hard work. Um, so all those groms out there, keep killing it. Do what you got to do to to make it to where you want to be. Uh, make sure you enjoy yourself while doing so. And uh, stay true, stay crew, stay hard. Shred till you're dead. Yeah.